It is a Monday, which means we open up the door for the Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce. Our uh, friend Mindy McAdams slides in the studios today. I will say this, Mindy normally has a, a guest, but your guest is a, a wee bit under the weather today, so no guest. And you are recuperating from a <laughs> very long weekend. It was a very, very long weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so let's just let's go back in time. Let's start on Friday with the uh, business after hours at the Fairfield Golf and Country Club, the oldest golf and country club west of the Mississippi. How was that? Oh my goodness, the food was amazing. Yeah, they, yeah. I am so impressed with how they've upgraded out there. It looked beautiful. <laughs> the grounds looked wonderful. There was caviar. I mean, come on, that really says something. Well, here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal on caviar. I don't eat any any fish or seafood, and that's technically seafood. So what? Not on my. I lived in Florida for ten years. I'll eat seafood all day, every day. Not on my not on my <laughs> palate wheel. It was wonderful, and it was great to hear about the foundation that um, they've they've established out there. Yeah, I was going to say it kind of was the kickoff, the unveiling of their foundation, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a lot of really great reading material out there on the tables. I learned a lot while I was out there, and they um, rolled out their new fall menu. There's some amazing food. Such, um, I, I, in fact, I was so obsessed with the food. I didn't take many people pictures, which normally I'm the people person. So you I'm did. like taking pictures of the food. <laughs> All right. I'll have to check that out. You should, I, on, there was a, on the a, chamber Facebook page. Uh, not yet. It's, oh, I, okay. it will be. I went from that to the hotel and then I met with, um, our, one of our friends and then, we got up very early. It was a very long Saturday. Yeah, it's a long Saturday. A couple of things happening. The Baffle Taffer and the Harvest Rush Gravel Grinder. Let's start with the Baffle Taffer. Um, good turnout? Yeah, we ended up with about 20 families out and about. Um, and they were all excited. Most were walk-ins. We didn't have very many register ahead of time, and I was kind of worried about that. Um, but they they came out. I think the weather this past week yeah it was it was a, a bit sketchy. We had quite a few walk ins for all of the rides um, due to the people were they just said we're waiting till the last minute because right. nobody wants to ride in the mud and the rain. Go back a week ago today there was a little or no chance of rain and by Wednesday <laughs> there was a forty percent chance of rain and then Thursday a sixty percent chance of rain and then Saturday rolls around and it was. Pretty benign. Well, and it rained a little bit every day. So we almost had to go to rain routes just because Mother Nature was, you know, playing around all week. All right. Let's, so let's segue to the uh, Harvest Rush Gravel Grinder. Um, decent turn up. I know that uh, you had uh, a better pre-registration this year than last year. And I'm really excited about next year's event, which we'll talk about in just a few moments. But uh, let's go back and talk about uh, this past weekend's Harvest Rush Gravel Grinder. Yeah, it the, it was such a weird day. Um, it We had a great turnout. Everybody had a great time. Uh, we had the big blow-up arch for them to start through and go um, and to finish through, which is always exciting, right? That Just that big arch adds a whole different um, feel to it. Uh, our winner of the 120 um, was from Burlington, um, and he did it in eight and a half hours. There was a gentleman from Pella who did it in about nine hours. Uh, 120 miles. You can take all the bike riding I did in all of 21, <laughs> 22, and now 23, and it wouldn't be nine hours. I just, I, it's crazy. And they, they cross that finish line, and they're so excited. But the minute they get off their bike, they kind of melt. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like hanging in waters and sodas and, you know, making sure that they're replenishing. All right. So let's uh, let's uh, talk about it. We've talked about it the last couple of weeks, but um, next year it, it will be a really, really big event. Absolutely. So we are um, in the process of joining the Iowa Gravel Series, um, which is a series of this year was five races. Um, next year it will be a few more. Um, and we're working on contract languages all. Uh, and we've, we're have we really excited. Chris from the Gravel uh Gravel Series was at our ride this year. He did our timing and he brought the big inflatable thing so that we can make sure and um, sit down and look at what our event looks like, see how it will fit into his event. It'll change our event a bit, but it'll also be, um, it'll be part of a series and so, it'll be, it'll be a big party at the end. So lo logistically, he's just sort of getting the lay of the land. Yeah. Well, and we wanted to see how he works and how, you know, you got to test people out what you say in a meeting. It doesn't always translate to real people. Right. And I, I, um, I wanted to meet him and, and see how we interacted. And he was so great. He went, in fact, we had a writer, um, that was not responding. Um, and it was getting pretty late. The storm was rolling in. We had two guys still out on the course and I'm a worrier. 
I'm a mom, I'm a warrior. So we had sent one of our um, one of our partner or one of our um, volunteers out at the end, the beginning of the course and he was sweeping and then we sent somebody at the end of the course and they were sweeping to find the last two writers. Um, the one was just like seven miles out and he's like, I'm fine, I'm just taking just kind of slow. Um, and then we we ended up picking up the other gentleman. He had fallen earlier in the race and he just said he he was done, he'd had enough, um, but he didn't want to call and admit that, right? <laughs> so we picked him up, gave him some some water and some soda and got him on his way back home. So let me ask this question, and maybe you don't know the answer. Did uh, Chris allude to the fact uh, of uh, how many writers you could expect next year as, as part He's of this series? He's got about 50 that follow his series, sure. but each each one has its own set. Um, one of his is in Albia. Um, and so that's not, too, we're not too far from Albia. So it doesn't, it's not an, too big, much of an extension and people can then go through all of the, follow all of his rides. Um, so yeah, it's going to be exciting. We're going to work out all of the details, but yeah, I'm excited. All right. Very exciting. That was the Baffle Taffer and the Harvest Rush Gravel Grinder, which was on Saturday. And the Business After Hours was on Friday at Fairfield Golf and Country Club. And we've got two of those in October, two Business After Hours. Where are they going to be? So we have one at the Elks and we have one at Agro-Industrial Plastics because October is Manufacturer's Month. Okay. Uh, we also do the, um, Manufacturers Appreciation Luncheon in October. And this year, we are going to have some of our um, founding fathers of manufacturing talk to us about their manufacturing journey and how it's kind of transitioned and do some, some Q&A. Uh, and we're going to have a great pasta bar at the Country Club to celebrate all of our wonderful manufacturers here in Fairfield. I want to remind you, you can get all this information sent directly to your email box mm -hmm. with Chamber Chatter, which comes every Monday morning at about the 8 o'clock hour. And you can quick overview of some of the highlights throughout the community. You can also uh, log on to fairfieldiowa.com and check out their calendar. I am looking in October. Do you have a date on the uh, manufacturer's luncheon? It's typically yes, on it's like the a Thursday. Yes, it's the 12th. On the 12th? It's a Thursday. Yeah, it's usually a Thursday. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Yeah. October 12th. Yeah, we had to work that out, move some board meetings around because Mindy didn't plan well. I was going to say, <laughs> I, 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 thought, I, thought traditionally it was, I thought traditionally it was on Thursday. Yes. And our business after hours for Agra is um, on a different day as well. I believe it's... Uh, the two. Now that I've said that, now I will forget what day it is. Well, I don't have it on the calendar here, but uh, we'll get that information coming up. Yeah. Other highlights, we, I do want to remind you that uh, Leadership Fairfield is going on. You're now hitting your third week, right? Yes, and uh, this will be our second month, um, and we have 25 participants. Uh, this month is... Um, local government. So we'll meet with the mayor and the new city administrator, and we'll meet with the supervisors. Um, and we're going to meet with a couple of our local legislators too. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, and we're going to go out and check out Park and Rec this month. Okay, great. And then right around the corner is, of course, Santa Claus. <laughs> because, you know, you when you are at Christmas, you have to start planning months in advance. Uh, and this month, our committee is going to do some, up, some maintenance on the, the buildings and get the paint job, you know, update the paint a little bit because we, we painted them red, but it's going to need a second coat. Uh, we're going to uh, stain the decks. We're going to add some some window boxes. So, yeah, we're going to get them all spruced up and ready to go. Yeah, I do want to remind you that um, uh, November 11th is, that's um, Armistice Day. Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Vet Veterans Day. Yes. Veterans Day. And then the the uh, downtown will start transforming into Christmas City the following Monday on the 13th. Absolutely. So, we're excited. Yeah. Um, and this year we're going to, um, we've got some fun, exciting news coming. I'm not going to leak that one I yet. I like the teases. I love teases. I like Come to be, on. I like, I like to think I'm on the inside. <laughs> well, I can't put you on the inside of this one yet. Until I like to think that I let the listeners in on the inside. We pull the curtain back. <laughs> well, we're still going to have Santa. We're still going to have that wonderful lighting ceremony. Kids are still going to get books and candy canes and uh, the ornament and cocoa and cookies are free. And we've got the workshop where you build your or decorate your ornament. So, I mean, we're going to still have all the fun things, but... You know, there, we always got to have something new. All right. One other thing we want to pass along to you before we slide out the door here today. Don't forget, coming up this Saturday, and I mentioned it last hour, there's going to be a tour of Distinctive Homes in Fairfield on yes. Saturday. This is a visitfairfield.com uh, event. They got the... Uh, 
the um, Bonnefield Cabin out at Waterworks Park is going to be open. Now, these houses and uh, homes will be open from 10 to 4 on Saturday, uh, so you can go and tour the homes, ask questions of the current owners. The uh, Beck House, which is at 401 East Burlington, the corner of B and uh, Burlington, better probably known uh, as the Sloka House, is going to be open as well. The Clark House, which is on South Main Street at beautifully... Um, a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired home about a block south of the library will be on display as well. The farmhouse at Hickory Highlands on Kale Boulevard and the Tim and Debbie Freeberg Rennick Cottage on Fillmore Avenue. You can learn more at visitfairfieldiowa.com. But that's coming up on Saturday, and I think that's a very cool deal. I think so, too. I love the Sloka House at Christmas. Yeah. It's so great. It Where is. will the leg lamp be this year? Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> it looks like a uh, it looks like a, a Christmas card. It does. It absolutely does. Anything else on your calendar? Sleep. 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 <laughs> Sleep and a visit to the chiropractor. <laughs> All righty. That is our Chamber Talk here on this Monday morning. Don't forget that many of the Chamber Talks are recorded, and you can see them at the Fairfield Media Center's YouTube page or their page, and also at the Fairfield Chamber website. You not only get to see Mindy, but you can see the best, 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 absolute best back of the head in the business. And that's my back of the head. Markets coming up here on 1570 KMCD plus CBS News at the top of the hour.